Well, hello. Uh, today I wanted to show you um, something I keep seeing over and over and over and over and over. Uh, and that is this idea of transparent tone. Now, let me start out by saying this is a little tongue in cheek because I get it. I get what you mean by transparent tone. But um, let me sh let me show you. Just let me show you. Okay. So right now I'm I have a JHS Bluesbreaker or not a blue, it's based on the Bluesbreaker, but it's a Morning Glory, uh, a Nobles ODR one, and just for fun, a full tone OCD. Uh, and I have these three pedals because recently on in some Facebook forums, some gear forums, actually for a while, I keep seeing people talk about uh, you know pedals with the most transparent tone. So, uh, with that said, with, uh, you know, nothing on, just guitar into a torpedo cab with uh, some sort of impulse response that I'm digging, uh, it sounds like this. Uh, turning on the Morning Glory, uh, gain down, and just trying to get a transparent tone here. So if we dirty that up. Pretty cool tone, I like it. The Nobles ODR-1. Let's dirty that up. And then the full tone OCD. Uh, gains all the way down. It's not going to get super clean, but here's what you got. So let me add distortion to that. So that would be the OCD. Uh, so transparent tone, I get it, you're trying to find something that sounds like your amp. Uh, <laughs> the fallacy, uh, and, and of course, uh, I hear this a lot about our Bravado amp, that it's, uh, you know, I've heard some say, is, is it neutral? You know, is, is it a neutral tone? And the same thing, the question, the questions I get about pedals, which one is the most neutral? Um, so I don't, uh, I don't want anyone to be confused, because here is the actual way to get a transparent tone. My transparent tone plugging direct into my interface. I'm going through the pedal board, but everything's off, uh, except for a buffer. Uh, so plugging direct into my interface, this is transparent tone. Now, you're asking yourself, well, what if you dirty that up? It's gonna be transparent, so it's good, right? Let's try that. I'm going to use the DB booster and just turn the boost all the way up and driving the input of my uh, Focusrite Sapphire 40. Uh, it's like a little preamp type deal that goes into the computer. So we're trying that. Boost all the way up. Let's get a transparent distortion tone. So there you go. That's a transparent tone. Not a big fan of it, although it has been used on recordings before, plugging direct into the console to get kind of a fuzz tone. It kind of is a unique fuzz tone. It, there's some there's some uses there, uh, but you know, as far as looking for a transparent overdrive tone or a transparent tone of any sort, um, you got to kind of you got to kind of understand that you got to flavor it a little bit. You just got to. You got to, you know, take some highs out and make sure the mids don't get all crazy and the bass gets all crazy. I hope it helps you to see a good comparison between what many call a neutral or a transparent tone versus an actual neutral or transparent tone. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below. And we'll see you with a new video next week. See ya.